DKA rarely happens in a vacuum. It is almost always a one-two punch. The first punch, obviously, is the diabetes itself, whether it's a newly diagnosed patient, a poorly regulated one, or an owner who missed insulin doses. But the second punch, the trigger, is what sends them into crisis. These are concurrent illnesses that spike those stress hormones we talked about. The most common triggers are pancreatitis and urinary tract infections. Remember, a diabetic UTI is often silent so hunt for it. In intact females, always rule out pyometra. It is a massive progesterone and bacterial load that causes severe insulin resistance. In dogs, look for hyperadrenocorticism, or Cushing's, pushing them over the edge. In cats, the picture is often complicated by hepatic lipidosis, or fatty liver. If a diabetic cat stops eating due to stress or nausea, they can develop fatty liver rapidly, creating a dual metabolic disaster.